Over the past few weeks, I've been diving headfirst into ChatGPT to try and find all of the ways that you can make money and all of the online businesses you can start using artificial intelligence. And something I've been working on for the past couple days is trying to figure out how to use ChatGPT to create a profitable trading bot or trading strategy. Something that can be used either on the regular stock market or cryptocurrency trading, which is conveniently available 24-7. So let's jump in and see what I've done. All right, so we are over here on a platform that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. This is the TradingView charting platform, which is completely free to use. Something you guys may not have noticed though is on the bottom, there is a little up caret that says show panel. Now if we click on this, it'll bring up something called the Pine Editor. Now the Pine Editor is something that coders and programmers can use to input their own scripts or their own trading strategies, which will put an overlay on the chart showing specifically what they want to know about whatever asset they are looking at. So I got to playing around and really thinking. I may not be able to program a trading bot myself, but is it possible to use artificial intelligence like ChatGPT to actually write one of these Pine scripts for me, either in a trading bot or a trading strategy format that would be much more profitable than what I could come up with just using the studies that TradingView has for me. Now real quick, here is a pro tip about ChatGPT. When you start using ChatGPT, you may not get the answers or responses that you are really looking for, and that's because you're going about it wrong. What I've learned over countless hours of using this artificial intelligence is the fact that you need to stop trying to figure out what answer you want, and you need to start trying to figure out what question you need to ask. If you get something, and I'll show you an example in a moment here, if you get a response that is not what you're looking for, instead of scrapping the idea, just try rephrasing the question. So you can see I started out initially, I said create a real-time trading bot. And the only thing it really spat back out at me was, if I was already a programmer or if I already knew how to code, these are the steps I would take to actually create a trading bot. ChatGPT didn't create one for me. So instead of scrapping the idea, I decided to rephrase the question and I said, create a PineScript code for TradingView that will detect market tops and bottoms. Because if we can accurately know where the top and where the bottom is on a market, I mean, that's just straight money. And this is what it spit out at me. Here is an example of PineScript code that can be used to detect market tops and bottoms. And it gave me this code right here. All we have to do to use this code is on the top right, click copy, go back over to trading view, paste it in, hit add to chart, and get a ton of errors. And again, this is a point where some people may want to stop, but we're gonna go back to ChatGPT to see what we can do about that error message. Now, that error message basically said that our variables were not defined. And real quick, let's actually define this for you, because you don't need any coding or programming knowledge, but knowing what you're looking at would probably be very helpful. So this right here is a script. You'll notice that there are sections that are somewhat highlighted and some that are not. Coding languages like this are actually very helpful in it of themselves as many of them will already tell you up front what they are doing. Anything that are behind these two forward dashes or back dashes, this is what you call something being commented out. That means anything right behind this that is in the gray is really just telling you what the following string or what the following line of code is used for. In this case, it's letting us know that this line right here is a simple script that using mover, moving averages to detect market tops and bottoms. We are creating a study that study is called Market Tops and Bottoms Detector, and is there an overlay? Yes, that is true. Now, down here we can see the Define Moving Averages script. This is the MA Fast and MA Slow using the Close and Length. Now, the length is something that we can input ourselves in the PineScript editor because that's personal preference what length you would like to use. Now, this next is actually plotting the moving averages, and this is for our overlay. This is saying that whatever we find 
in the define here. Whatever we find, we're then going to take and plot or put that overlay over our chart showing us what it just did. Now a little bit lower, we have the actual conditions that this will use for market tops and bottoms. And it's basically saying if yes and no, or if true and false, if something is close to what we define as a market top, it will true plot that on our screen. If it is close to the market bottom, then true, it will plot that on our screen yet again. But if neither of those conditions that we previously defined have been met, it will not show us that on our screen as it's not something we care about. We only care when we are at the market top or the market bottom based on the parameters that this trading strategy or trading bot from ChatGPT has already defined. That of course was just something very simple using one metric, but if we wanna go a little bit deeper, we can say write a PineScript code for trading view that will depict current market trends in real time and you'll see it will spit out this bigger block that is calculating more than that previous script and we can really pinpoint in and build and build and build using chat gpt to create a script well at least that's what we're hoping to create a script that will be able to accurately predict the top and bottoms of markets now, when I plugged this into PineScript, it spat out another error saying that my parameters were not accurately defined. So what I had to do next was actually tell it to define all variables in previous PineScript code. I realized that I phrased that wrong as it just gave me a breakdown, but I don't need a breakdown. I needed to actually write that into the code. So I had to rephrase or reword and actually tell it to rewrite the previous PineScript code with all variables defined. And there we go, it spits out this long script that has all the variables defined and will also let us overlay whenever we are depicting a market top or bottom. So here we go, we can copy this code, plug it into PineScript, but there's one last thing we have to do that ChatGPT will not. You're going to have to go to the very top and we're actually going to have to define something ourselves. So when we want to define something that is not actually part of the script itself, we want to do those backslashes because that'll let it know, hey, we don't want the machine learning to read this part of the script. We just want it to be an input. So we're going to comment it out and we are going to say at, at symbol, because this is going to be the version that we're using. We're going to say at version and that version equals two. Now, if you're watching this video months or even a year down the road, you might be on version three or version four, but for right now, we're just going to say version two because that is the version that PineScript is currently using. And that's something that ChatGPT doesn't know. So we have to manually input that ourselves. Now, once we do that, we can just click add to chart or publish script. Now, there is a real chance that you may stumble across a number of errors inside PineScript. However, all you need to do is copy those errors and plug them back into chat GPT, and it will continuously rewrite your trading bot or trading strategy until it is usable. Just remember, Every time you go to PineScript and input a new code, you need to let the system know that you are using at version equals two. This of course is only one of many ways that I have learned how to utilize ChatGPT and artificial intelligence to make money online or to make passive income in 2023. This is all brand new to everyone. So the sooner you jump on it, the sooner you can start making money. If you wanna know five genius ways ways to make an online business using chat GPT, then click on this video right here. And while you're there, you might as well like the video, show some love and subscribe as well if you want daily new content on some cool money making tips, tricks and ideas.